In the My Little Pony Season 5 finale, we saw many different alternate realities. Each one showing what life would be like if a different villain had dominated Equestria. In all of these worlds, I asked myself which worlds would I have preferred to live in. And the best answer is Luna's world, or Nightmare Moon's world. Because at least Nightmare Moon had the ability and the heart to provide for her subjects, and they were willingly loyal to her. No signs of suffering or intents of betraying her and overthrowing her. Nightmare Moon had a world where the doomsday prophecies of plants dying off from lack of sunlight never came to pass, and where her subjects led relatively good lives with very little to complain about. The worst case scenario of Nightmare Moon's internal darkness would be the ponies of Equestria being deafened by the obsessive hooting of owls and the town sundial being rendered useless. Next down the line would be King Somber's world, a world where war raged on, much like it did here in our real world. I imagine that the Equestria war model would have followed the Earth one. They would have gone through the same events of World War II, followed by some kind of pony victory, and then a period of cold war between the ponies and the allies to the ponies. And we would have gone through the 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s and uh, then we would have seen an end to the Cold War and some other character would have risen up to cause problems in Equestria after that. But the ponies would have been performing their talents even if they weren't doing jobs they loved. They would have, at the very least, been employed, made inventions, and seen technological progress. And then, third on the list is the destroyed world. Sure, you're living in a world of chaos, but at least you have food and drink raining down from the sky periodically. Rather like that world in the Treehouse of Horror on The Simpsons, where everything was horrible for Homer, but it rained donuts. The Discord world would be weird, but at least you have someone all-powerful who could provide you continuous protection and all of the things that you want or need, as long as he is in such a good mood that, that he feels like giving you the stuff that you asked for. It'd rather be like being ruled by an all-powerful genie, or Santa Claus, or someone of that nature, knowing that as long as you were on his good side, you would still benefit. So you'd probably have to eat some statues in his image and worship him and pay him compliments just to avoid being turned into a stuffed animal or a sofa cushion or whatever and do your part to abuse him, but you wouldn't be necessarily executed, just put into a form that's no longer what you're used to being. So what if your house is upside down? At least you still have one, right? In all of the other possible realities, you are just suffering through the Flim Flam Brothers pollution or the destruction of T-Rex, or the complete domination of changelings who wanted to devour you. Although admittedly the Flim Flim Brothers world could be solved with some past legislation and the planting of trees. But all this thinking about the other realities made me wonder about some of the other realities that could have oh so existed. And here are a list of some of the alternate outcomes that I think would have been fun. One, since the episode took Twilight and her friends out of the equation, none of the villains that were specifically tied to Twilight and her friends' actions, like Dilda and Trixie and Parasprites, 
never came into power. It would be interesting to have seen worlds dominated by Tritzy and Sunset Shimmer and the Sirens and some of the other Twilight and Main Sits exclusive problems that those characters ran into, particularly because of their actions. Do it would be interesting to have seen a world where all of the My Little Pony villains won their wars but had positive outcomes. What if the changelings had won their war but the ponies had discovered a way to have a symbiotic relationship with the changelings where both members of the species were benefiting from each other? What if the ponies willingly gave the changelings a little bit of love to feed off of and in exchange the changelings protected the ponies? We know changelings and ponies can get along just fine because one was friends with Tranty and Matilda and showed up at their wedding. So this type of relationship could potentially have worked out. We could have seen this toward be an all-powerful ruler, but with the kindness and generosity enough to share his power in a way that was beneficial. We could have seen maybe a world where instead of T-Rex taking over, Dorpan had taken over and had allowed the ponies to live harmoniously while he took charge of Equestria and made sure to keep his brother in check. We could have seen King Somber take over but end up being a relatively good, competent leader, keeping his people in employment and good health. Or we could take Silver Quill's route of seeing what would happen if the ponies were victorious over their enemies and seeing worlds where the ponies defeated t -Rex and defeated Somber and defeated Nightmare Moon but at some kind of cost, perhaps the loss of lives or the outcome not being as positive as we had originally thought. Maybe Cadence and Shining Armor would have sacrificed their lives to successfully defeat Somber. Or maybe Celestia would have defeated Nightmare Moon by returning her to the moon rather than converting her back to Luna. Or we could have even seen a world where all of the villains took over and just teamed up until they started fighting each other. That could have also been interesting. But one of the um, other worlds that I think I would have really enjoyed would have been to see what would happen if one of the other ponies, possibly Moon Dancer or Sunset Shimmer, or maybe Rainbow Dash, or Fluttershy, or Pinkie Pie, or Rarity, or Applejack had become an Alicorn Princess instead of Twilight, and Equestria had that character be the Princess of Friendship instead of Twilight, and Twilight had been a normal unicorn. That could have also been fun to have played around with. There's a lot of other fun scenarios to play around with when we come down to examining this idea in detail. But let me know some of the ideas you think would have worked out as alternate realities and maybe we'll discuss this a little bit further. Until then, thank you for watching and good night.